the town of Jackson, Teton County, and their joint Parks and Recreation Department are proud to announce the completion of the SPET-funded Snow King Apartments and Park Shop. This is the story of how the project came to fruition, along with a virtual tour of the new building. This is our current park maintenance facility, and I think a really good thing to look at is this is how we have to store our equipment. This is the equipment that we want to get inside. If you see all of the hydraulic hoses, those things as they sit outside in the winter and in the summer deteriorate, and that's a lot of expense. You know, we have millions of dollars in equipment of public assets that we need to do better at taking care of, and that's what this new facility is going to afford us the opportunity to do. I'll take you in to show you where everything happens inside this building. This is where our mechanic works out of. So what you'll find is you'll see a lot of black exhaust, um, and this is just kind of the environment that we have to work out of. I'm going to take you into the administrative offices. This is where all 16 guys currently work out of. Coming in, guys. Okay. Coming in, guys. So basically, this is everything we've got. Everybody shares their office space, and this is where we're all working out of right now. Again, this is a space for 16 staff members. Back in 1980, we had three parks, a couple baseball fields, and generally that's it. Now we're in the neighborhood of 19 parks. We have athletic fields. We have river parks. We have 50 miles of pathways. We also maintain over 12 miles of sidewalks. We also are taking care of about 35 government grounds. So with that comes a lot more people. In 1980, when we started, we had one full-time guy in the parks crew and we had two seasonals. We are now at 16 full-time employees. And so we wanted to find a place that was safe and effective and efficient for them to work out of. So where you're at right now is you're in our storage garage. So the storage garage is where we're going to have all of this equipment. One of the things that we did in the winter is we would pull a lot of the equipment inside, but we had to take all of the implements, the blower heads and the blades, off of them every night. And we leave them out in the snow. And then we would come in at 4 in the morning, we'd dig out all the implements and have to rehook everything up. So what we've tried to do here is we've got enough space for all of our equipment, and they'll be able to pull it in here, keep it warm, and keep it taken care of. So it's so important to have these inside. One of the other things that we added to this particular um, garage unit is our equipment lift. Hey, welcome to the basement. So what we basically have is we come down the equipment lift, we'll be able to take these implements that are seasonally used and bring them down here into this basement space. What we have is our storage area for supplies, plumbing materials, irrigation materials, and so forth. As we leave this storage unit, we're going into our locker room for our staff. So this is a spot for each one of our staff will have their own individual locker. And then we have individual bathrooms. Uh, we have three of them total. Right above us is our parks administration offices. We're going up to the main floor of the park operations. This will be the public entrance into our operations. So our parks operations offices. So this is where we'll have our maintenance techs and our senior maintenance techs. And the idea is each one of our maintenance, senior maintenance techs will have their computer workstation, stand-up desk, so we'll go into what they have as a conference room, break room. This is something that the staff has never had before. So this is where they'll be able to kind of catch up and, and make sure we're all on the same page and take a break during the day. We have a couple offices. Our offices are for our, my assistant manager. Parks manager has his offices in here as well. So all parks operations will be housed and work out of this, this building. This little section here is for my maintenance technicians. So that's our Parks Operations Center. What's interesting is we started this project really about providing a park maintenance facility. And that's where it all kind of originated from. We're not reinventing new land. And so how do we build up? And that's where we did the housing on top of this. We have 16 studio units. We have start bus workers that we need to house in the winter and we have park workers that we need to house in the summer. We want to make this as livable as possible and we created a lot of common spaces. We have kind of just a comfortable little reading 
um, sitting area here. The residents will have access to the in-house laundry facility. And what I think is really kind of fun and unique that we have here is this is the communal living area. So all 16 residents will be able to share in this space. So we have the kitchen as a fully stocked kitchen with everything they need and, and a nice little sitting area, great light. We have a dining room area. So as we leave the communal area and we come back down the hallway um, and through our sitting area, basically we have 16 studios. All of the studios are exactly the same. These are furnished for all residents. So we have a place to sleep, we have a place to sit and relax, but we also created a spot to where you have those conveniences like you would um, in any residential unit. Microwave, refrigerator, plenty of cabinet space, um, wardrobe space to hang your clothes. Each individual unit has its own individual restroom. So the way that this facility is designed is we made sure, one, to make it very durable, um, very comfortable, a lot of bright light, but we also designed every unit to be ADA adaptable. And what that means is for folks with special needs and accessibility um, challenges, every single unit can be modified very simply to make sure that it's accessible for all. Now our second floor is our residential units that are one bedroom units for the most part. These are more seasonal, the third, third floor, more seasonal, transitional. Where our one bedroom units, what we found in the town and the county, a real challenge that we have with our workforce is as we bring in new, new employees to come to Teton County and the town of Jackson, it's really hard to land. So these are really geared for one to three years to live in these particular units. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you into our first one bedroom. This is a little unique. Um, this is also an ADA accessible unit. We got a lot of open space, high ceilings, big windows, dishwashers, full-size range, full-size refrigerator. We want this to be a very comfortable, livable unit, even like little built-ins, you know, a little built-in desk, little areas like that. One thing that's different on our one bedroom units is these are unfurnished. Into the bedroom of the one bedroom unit, tall ceilings, big windows, washer and dryer. Every unit has a washer and dryer in our one bedroom. One bedrooms, of course, you have your bathroom facility. This is the ADA accessible unit. You'll see the grab bars. It's got the shower system. You can see that we can get a wheelchair up and under the sink. We can get a wheelchair up and underneath some of the cabinets. So another unique feature that we have on the second floor is a bunk room. And the idea behind the bunk room is really to provide a place for our emergency responders, um, especially if the pass closes or if they live down the canyon, to have a place to come in and spend the night. So on the second floor, we also have eight one bedroom units, they're exactly the same. We have the catwalk that we enter into these units from. And we thought really a lot about this. This is the maintenance side of the facility. So this is the living space and we put all the bedrooms on the back side of that so that we know that it'll be much more quiet in the bedroom area. So let's go ahead and enter into one of these one bedroom units. We tried to create a lot of natural light. We really even went to the, to the effort to make sure they were high quality high efficiency appliances. So as we go down here, every unit has a washer and dryer, a really nice four piece bathroom here. So tub shower unit. So each one of these units um, are about 560 square feet. We have cove heating and then we also have goes insulation. So what you'll find is in between these units, you're gonna have a very quiet space. So that concludes the tour of our facility. We started the planning of this particular project 15 years ago. We're really excited that we finally came to this point to where we have this. One thing that's important to note, this is phase one. There is another phase to this, which would be more storage for materials and supplies that we currently house down at Adams Canyon. And then we want to move our maintenance mechanic. So he is going to be taking care of all the equipment in our old facility. Um, up until the time in which we can then move him over here. We're so thrilled with what we have so far, so thanks.